Here we have an application problem, or this is probably part of the problem solving part of this section. Um, it says a frame shop charges according to both the amount of framing needed to surround the picture and the amount of glass needed to cover the picture. So part A says find the area and perimeter of the picture below. All right. First of all, let's find the area. This is a trapezoid in shape. So we have to use our area of a trapezoid formula. And we can plug in what we know. We know, we don't know what the area is, that's what we have to find. We know what the height is of this frame. The height is what runs, uh, it's a, a line that runs from one base perpendicular to the other base. And they've told us this is 12 inches. Then the larger base they've given us is 56, and the smaller base they've given us as 24. So we can plug in what we know, and now we have A equals 1 half times 12 times 56 plus 24. So doing order of operations, we'd have to do the parentheses first, which is 56 plus 24 would be 80. And now we can continue with our multiplication. 1 half of 12 is 6, and then 6 times 80 would be 480. Area is always in square units, so that would be 480 square inches. And we still have to do our perimeter. And if you'll remember, perimeter means that you add up all of your sides. Well, we do have these three sides here that they've given us. We actually have the fourth side, they just didn't write it on there. Because this side and this side in this picture are identical. So we're going to go ahead and write in that that side is 20. Now we can add up all of our sides. We'll know the perimeter will equal 20 plus 24 plus 20 plus 56. That means our perimeter is 120 inches. Perimeter is a linear measure so it's always in um, singular units. Now part B says identify whether the frame has to do with the perimeter or area and the same with the glass. So we need to know is the frame perimeter or area? Well, Think about the way that the frame is around this picture. It goes all the way around. That's perimeter. The glass though Glass is all of this area within the frame. That's our area. Let's look at something else. Here we have one that says an architect designs a rectangular flower garden such that the width is exactly two-thirds of the length. If 260 feet of antique picket fencing are to be used to enclose the garden, find the dimensions of the garden. That means that they want the length and the width when we're done. So look at the picture that they provided for us. They've told us that this side here, or our length, is x feet. I just made it a little bigger so we could see it. In the problem, they also said the width is exactly two-thirds of the length. Well, that means that this side, or our width, will be two-thirds of whatever this side is. So we can write that as two-thirds x. Because this is rectangular, that means that our opposite sides will be the exact same measure. Now we know what each one of the sides are. If we were to add up all of those sides, then wouldn't that be the amount of fencing needed to go all the way around it? We're talking about perimeter here. And it told us that it needed 260 feet of fencing to go all the way around. Now we have a problem we can solve but we have fractions. If they bother you, you can go ahead and multiply through by the common denominator, which would be 3. When we do that, our 3's will cancel in the first term, leaving us with 2x plus 3x plus our 3's will cancel again, leaving us with 2x plus 3x equals 780. Now we have 10x's on the left hand side equals 780 when we divide by 10, we get x equals 78. That tells us our length, but we need to still do two-thirds of that in order to find our width, which is 52 feet.